In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to update your Wi-Fi credentials on your RAT GDO board. In order for these instructions to work, you have to have a firmware version generated in the year 2025 or greater. You can check the firmware version of your board by going to the IP address of your RAT GDO board and looking under the firmware version and you'll see the date that the firmware was generated. So for this video, I'm going to uh, connect to the serial port on the device so that we can look at the console. You don't have to do this. The whole point of the video is to show you how to do the Wi-Fi credential update without having to physically connect to the board. So everything that we're seeing on the screen here is just for illustration purposes so that you can follow along with what's happening. Okay, so the board is currently connected to my DEC AP network. And what I'm going to do is simulate the network changing by actually changing the password required to connect to this network. So we see here the SSID DEC AP. So I'm gonna go off screen here and change the password on this network. After the password is changed, the RAT GDO board is gonna get kicked off of the network. And after about 15 minutes of trying to connect to this network, it's going to give up and reboot itself. Upon rebooting, it will go into a captive portal mode where we're going to be able to change the network credentials. If you wanna speed this process up, then you can just simply power cycle the board. Unplug it from the wall, plug it back in, or cycle your breaker off and then back on again. Approximately 60 seconds after rebooting the board, it will go into captive portal mode if it's unable to connect to the previously configured network. So here we see in the log that it's starting fallback access point mode. It's setting up the AP and the SSID is RAT GDO. Here you see the IP address is 192.168.4.1. This is always the IP address when it's in captive portal mode. So what we're going to do now is connect the computer to the RAT GDO network and then visit the device IP address, which is 192.168.4.1. Here we can click on the network we wanna to connect to and then fill in the password. After saving, it will reboot and reconnect using the credentials that were just provided. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you for watching.